Back in the distant evolutionary past, other wasps started to build their nests alongside one another. And here on the coast of Panama, paper wasps still do so. Grouping their cells together means that even though you have to leave your eggs to collect food, there will always be someone around on guard. The wasps are all sisters, but as often happens, one tends to dominate the rest. She starts to bite her sisters with great brutality. She is the boss, the queen. The others may build cells, but only she will lay eggs in them. Many of the genes in these eggs are the same as those carried by her sisters, and the sisters look after the eggs as if they were their own. And now, because the nest is so well guarded, the family rears more young than if each female were to nest alone. So, as each egg is laid, the sisters take steps to protect it. To do that, they need building material. They chew wood into pulp and then use it to build a protective wall around each egg, a cell. So, a colonial nest begins to grow. With more and more young females needing to be fed, the adults go hunting. Each returning wasp bringing prey is greeted by the other workers. They squabble over food. The queen takes the lion's share. Those of her sisters and daughters who are high up on the social scale also get big helpings because they bully the junior females. In fact, the food isn't eaten by the adult who wins it. She feeds it to her developing younger sisters. This grouping, an enormous single-sex family, was the first step towards the development of insect societies containing millions of individuals and it's still their basic structure. 